Section 2.3, Deductive Reasoning. First, let's talk a little bit about deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is when we use facts, definitions, postulates, accepted properties, already proved statements, laws of logic, anything that we already know to be true, to form a large logical argument. So we have this list of things that we already know to be true statements. And then we use this to prove a new statement. For example, we know that a square has four sides. This is part of the definition of a square. We know that, and we can look and see that polygon A, B, C, D has four, sorry, let's say a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral has four sides and is a polygon. Polygon ABCD has four sides and we'll draw ABCD up here. From this, so from the first statement which is a definition and the second which is an observed fact, we can conclude that polygon a, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. There are a couple of laws of logic we'll look at that we'll want to use when forming these deductive reasoning arguments. The first law of logic is the law of detachment. The law of detachment tells me that if I have a true conditional statement and if the hypothesis of that statement is true, then the conclusion must be true. Let's look at the first example. If it is raining, then I'm happy. It is raining. So here we are given what we assume to be true statements. If it is raining, then I'm happy. It is raining. That must mean that our logical conclusion is, I'm happy. Let's try one more example. If the polygon has three sides, then it's a triangle. Polygon ABC has three sides. Take a moment, come up with your conclusion, and then start the video back up when you're ready to check. Again, we have a true conditional statement and we have a true hypothesis, meaning our conclusion is that polygon ABC is a triangle. The second law of logic we want to talk about is the law, law of syllogism, which is also called the chain rule. This tells us that if P implies Q, and Q implies R, then P implies R. This is easiest to look at with an example. So take a look at example three. We have, if Jenny owns a poodle, then she owns a dog. If Jenny owns a dog, then she has a pet. We can follow this chain of conditional statements and reason that if Jenny owns a poodle, this means that she owns a dog, and if she owns a dog, then she has a pet. So then Jenny has a pet. Try this next one on your own, and then go to the next video when you're ready to check the solution. 